Say noir, say noir. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Hey fam, Chi Chi here. Welcome back. I decided to put two queens head to head with one another. Of course, I will be reviewing both Beyonce Say Noir against Fenty, Fenty Parfum. And as an additional bonus, we might as well just put it all in one video. I'm gonna review the body cream as well. So if you had any thoughts on which one to pick, which one I personally like, then you've come to the right place. But if you're new here, hey, I'm Chi Chi and I talk about all things lavish but logical. So if that's your sort of thing, go ahead, subscribe, make some friends in the comment section and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. So we're gonna first talk about Beyonce Say Noir. Beyonce is no stranger to fragrances. She had a whole slew of heat um, perfumes back in the day. So this is kind of a reintroduction into fragrance for her. I honestly thought she was gonna link up with the brand Killian because it was alleged that her favorite fragrance was Killian's Angel Share. And that had leaked out like maybe a couple of months before this was actually like got into people's hands. So everybody, if you are familiar with perfumers and things like that, you know, you thought it was gonna be a Killian collaboration, um, especially since her makeup artist, uh, Sir John, is now, I think, a creative director. You see where I'm trying to land this plane? So it would have made sense, but th apparently that wasn't the case. So let, let, let me get into the packaging. So Beyonce has this whole Lego set. <laughs> it was just like, we we don't we 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 don't like this 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 packaging reminds me very much so of Ariana Grande's clouds and stuff like that. She has all of this. We could have did it without that. And this is like plastic. So it was like, was this really necessary? No. If the bottle would have just come like this, I would have been perfectly fine. The cap is not weighted, so it. <laughs> For the price of this, we're like, okay. As far as packaging goes, it's like, mm, it was underwhelming for me. Actually, it was quite annoying for me because if you, once you have a actual collection, this takes up way too much space in my opinion. But I do like the actual bottle design. And then on the back, you do have a little porthole <laughs> right here. So you can actually see the juice and kind of gauge where it is. So that part of it is nice. But if it would have just come like this, it would have been perfectly fine. Now my package ended up coming with this 10 ml travel perfume. And when I first saw it, I, I was like, is this a perfume? And luckily I did read the back because my first instinct was, okay, this is hand sanitizer because this is the packaging it usually comes in. So I was just like, uh, okay. So I ended up trying this before I even opened up the box because I was like, if I ain't like this, child, she was gonna find a whole new home. So I've been talking too much. This starts off with a huge blast of clementine dipped in honey. And I was like, oh, okay. I was pleasantly surprised by the opening because that honey is sweet. And I was like, ooh, she's, she's kind of living for that. So then as it starts to warm up, then it gets to that rose part. It's also like kind of jammy, just, just a little bit, like something a little edible. And then it goes into like this really, really sexy rose. And I was just like taken aback by this because like Beyonce's music, this thing had transitions, honey. If I had to pick a transition from the Renaissance album to describe this perfume, it will be the transition from plastic off the sofa to Virgo's groove, 1000%. Because there's a lightness, there's an airiness, a cuteness with that like honey clementine so it's bright so it's like you know whimsical almost so you're like uh, you know it's the way you 
it's very much so giving that. But then as you wear it throughout the day, it gets like, baby, come over. It get like, it really turns into a really sexy fragrance. And I actually wore this to see the film. And when I hugged Will McCason, he was like, oh, you smell really good. He was like, what do you have on? I was like, say noir. So he was like, wow, because there were a lot of mixed, mixed feelings on this fragrance. Some people really, really liked it and some people really hated it. I was just pleasantly surprised by it. Now, for the price of this, I feel like it could have been more. Like it, it should have been like a little bit more giving. But on my skin, she lasted a solid seven hours. Like she was bumping. And that's why I was surprised by it. Cause I, was, I wasn't expecting it to last no more than five hours to be honest with you. But for some odd reason, she sings on me and I have not had any issues <laughs> with the performance of this fragrance. And I just love, I love the honey that's in here. I think it's really beautifully done. I will say this, this is gonna sound absolutely terrible. When I do hold up my arm and take a, I mean a super, super deep breath, something in it gives me mothballs. I said it and I stand by it, but I still like the fragrance. <laughs> it's funny, so let's get in some of some of these notes and I think it's not the rose so at the top you have honey and clementine which you 1000% get mid notes are rose and jasmine sandback and base notes of myrrh and amber and I think it might be that myrrh that's causing that little old type of smell to it this is the first time I've ever had a Beyonce fragrance I haven't even smelled the heat none of that stuff so for this to be my first experience with Beyonce's fragrance I had a really great experience. I really, really like it. Even when I wore it the first day, I will never forget it. Like I just kept getting that beautiful honey waft and I wanted to smell it. Like I wanted to spray more. Like it gave me that type of feel. When you want to spray it a little bit more, that's how I know I'm like really into it. Cause I was at my desk, I was just like, Ch -ch -ch. Oh my gosh, my paid actor. Yes, <laughs> like I really, really just enjoyed this fragrance and I'm happy that I had a really good experience because this this was a good amount of money and I don't know why I decided to blind buy it. Like I didn't go to the concert and I, maybe in my head, that's why I justified it. I was like, you know what? Let, let's talk about the perfume, you know? Let's see what Beyonce is doing over there. But overall, I thought it was a really great perfume, you know? Minus the Lego pieces, I was I was great. I thought it was fantastic. Now let's talk about Rihanna, and this is the Fenty, Fenty Parfum. And I only have a travel size, and I'm actually glad I only have a, the travel size. So when it comes to Rihanna, she also has had quite a few fragrances back in the day and just like Beyonce it was alleged that she wore love don't be shy so again you think she's going to be a part of the Killian brand however we also have to remember the Fenty luxury line was under the LVMH umbrella so I believe her perfumer actually did a lot of the Louis Vuitton perfumes with that in mind um, I wore this and there was a reason why I never invested in the full bottle. I literally bought this just to do this review. But when it finally hit the Sephora shelves and you could smell it in person, I can understand why people do not like this fragrance. Because uh, number one, you're already thinking, oh, it's gonna be love, don't be shy. It's gonna be sweet and marshmallowy and stuff like that. And this is very much so not. This is definitely a acquired taste. This is an acquired taste. And for someone who is grown, I don't see anybody in their youth <laughs> wearing this perfume. I just don't see it. You have to be in 35 and up to really enjoy this. Now, as far as my enjoyment of the fragrance, 
this has a like a blueberry and citrus opening that I I I I I don't vibe with this one at all. And then I personally get some form of plastic in the opening and I, I just don't know where that's coming from. After maybe about two hours of wear, that's when I kind of start liking this fragrance because that opening, they can miss me with that one. But then when the rose starts coming through, then you're like, uh oh, okay, I kind of get it. Like we might be able to work something out. <laughs> so. With a Fenty, let's get into these notes. At the top we have blueberry and tangerine with mid notes of Bulgarian rose, geranium, and magnolia, and base notes of musk and patchouli. I don't think I love geranium. And I think that's the floral note that's pulling out on, on, on my skin that I'm just like, uh -uh, I, don't, I don't fuck with that. Or it might even be that magnolia. One of the two flowers is not vibing with me. But again, it also has patchouli in it. And we all know, I'm not the biggest fan of patchouli. It's not my favorite. It's not something I would reach for. It's, it smells very, very mature. It smells more mature than uh, Say Noir. And I just don't like that vibe. And as far as longevity goes, again, she does stick around for quite a bit, but I do feel like Say Noir performed a lot better on my skin because even when I just had it on my hands, just to kind of do a comparison, Say Noir at the end of the, my work shift was there. Fenty, she started fading and like, she, she was trying to hold on. She was trying to stay awake. She wasn't doing it. So I, I just wasn't, I wasn't a fan of Fenty Parfums, if you're gonna really, really ask me. It's just, it's very, very mature. And, uh, nah, and I get that plastic. Not plastic baby doll, but I get plastic on me. So, because I saw that they both had a citrus opening and a rose mid, I was like, okay, let's, let's, let's try to get into this Fenty body cream now the body cream if i can open it why won't you open oh dear here we go first of all the cap beautiful packaging and then you get a nice metal spoon or scooper if you want to call it oh, come on now with fenty written on it i thought the the package 10 out of 10. it's a luxury body cream which means it's a lot more expensive. I would wait until Fenty has their 30% off sale in order to get this. But I actually really, really loved the body cream. It kind of jumps over that, that blueberry um, tangerine opening that I just wasn't liking and it just kind of dives straight into the mid. And I have noticed that a lot of people prefer the body cream over the perfume. And I, I too am one of those people. It feels amazing. And I, I just really, really loved it. Oh no, I got it under my nails. So in comparison to the original um, body butters that the Fenty skin line has, I feel like this one has a little bit more oil to it. It's got a little bit more suppleness to it and the thickness that I do like. It's not heavy, but it's got a, a, a nice little slippage to it, but it doesn't have as great of a, a sheen as the, um, the body butter does. But for the smell, because we're here for the smell of it, the smell I actually was into. I was like, okay, we can we can do something with this. So what did she do? My favorite way to actually wear the body cream, I paired these two together. And when I tell you, this is a match made in heaven. Because again, you miss that whole opening 
of the um, the blueberry and that tangerine, but then when you put on the the honey, it's like oh yes, those two together. I like those two. Mm. It, it just gives it a nice grounding base because I told you that Beyonce is gonna get a little sexy towards the end. Yeah, yeah. Is the body cream worth it, worth it? That's on you. But as far as it being a luxury body cream, it's definitely a lot different from the um, the normal creams that they, they have. I, like it's just something a little bit more luxurious to it especially with the packaging like the packaging alone I'm just like sold on that as far as if I were to repurchase what I will say is that I reach for say noir over Fenty any day and then just having that Fenty body cream at the base beautiful chef's kiss I probably would repurchase the Fenty body cream because I felt like it was a nice like rose without being too rosy in the literal sense so yeah Beyonce did it for me she did it for me and even when I wore it I think I wore it wanted like I really wanted to wear it and I didn't get that feeling from Fenty like even say noir like there was a couple of days I was trying to test other things and I'm like fuck can't wear stain can't wear stain noir today but um yeah i was thankful that my blind buy of this was successful um and yeah i thought it was cool i, I was rocking with it. beyonce could lower that price though but billionaires don't become billionaires without overcharging so it makes sense you know but i hope you enjoyed this video check out some of my other videos and i'll catch you in the next one bye guys